Welcome to the next week of Raider Wrap-Up. This week on the show, we're going to have a special interview with Josh Fawcett. But first, we're going to get straight into the news and announcements. So first off, Martin Luther King Jr. Day will be Monday. There will be no school. Then, Elite Night will be January 28th. Also, prom fees are due February 1st. Finally, ACT registration will be January 13th. The test will be on February 24th. And now we're going to send it over to Brooks Davis with the sports. Hey guys, this is Brooks Davis with Raider Sports. We've got a full next couple of weeks of Pleasant Valley Athletics, so let's get right into it. After a long streak of away games, your varsity basketball teams returned home last Thursday to play Raglan, beginning with the JV boys. And after a hard-fought battle, the Raiders fell short 39-37, as did the varsity boys 56-53. Varsity girls, however, dominated their game by a score of 71-26. To begin this week, your varsity basketball teams have a big game against Piedmont today, at 5, beginning with the JV boys, so be sure to come out and support the Raiders. You'll have another opportunity to see the varsity boys as they begin county tournament play Saturday against Ohatchee at Jacksonville State. The game will begin at 4.30. Your varsity girls, however, will not play until next Thursday as the number two overall seed got a two-round bye and will play at 8.30 also at Jack State. Switching over to junior high, the boys start their county tournament at Ohatchee January 24th and will play Piedmont at 3 o'clock. The girls, however, will play 8.30 against the winner of Piedmont and Faith, also the same day. And finally, there will be an indoor track meet at the Birmingham Crossplex next Monday. And that's all for sports this week. Back to you, Dustin. And now we're going to send it over to Rachel Fawcett with the weather. Thanks, Dustin. The weather this weekend will be partly cloudy and in the 70s. And that weather will carry all the way through until Wednesday and Thursday when there will be a chance of rain and the temperature will go down to in the 60s. So wear a rain jacket just in case. Back to you, Dustin. And now we're going to send it over to the interview with Dakota Heron and Josh Fawcett. Dakota Heron here for Raider Wrap-Up, and I'm joined here alongside Josh Fawcett. Josh, how does it feel to be back in action just in time for the county tournament after your wrist injury? Um, I mean, it's good to be able to play again. It's a miss to watch other people play and not be able to, so I'm pretty excited to play. So, Josh, who are you looking forward to the most at playing in the county tournament? Uh, well, right now we're just worried about Ohachi, and uh, whoever's after that will play them but right now we're just worried about oh, Hatchie. Okay, Josh, thank you for coming out today, and I look forward to seeing you play Piedmont today and the county tournament tomorrow. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, Dakota, and that'll conclude this episode of Raider Wrap-Up.